We're going to have a look at the stair tool in ARCHICAD 21. So this is a, a new stair tool and it takes a little bit to get used to. It has a lot of fantastic functions, uh, but it requires that you understand the mathematics of a stair, which is never a, a bad thing. Uh, now, understanding this stair, of course, like all the rest of the 3D tools, we can link it to our stories. I'm going to not link it in this case, just so I can explain how these numbers work really well. Let's say, for instance, in this instance, we're trying to make from floor to floor to be 2700. What would that mean? That would normally mean we're talking about a floor to ceiling of 2400 with 300 mil structure. Now this would be quite standard for a, a contemporary project home sort of style house or maybe an older style house that has a low ceiling. Um, if we were more of a, a traditional height ceiling or a, a more generous ceiling height, we might be aiming for more like three meters floor to floor or even more, three and a half perhaps. Now depending on what this number is, it will change all of these numbers. So this is our floor to floor height. There's a few things that I'm not going to go into in terms of how this works. Uh, this is our flight width. You'll see sometimes we get options. And so currently this is giving me an option of do I want 15 stairs or 16 stairs? And this is giving me an option of saying do I want my riser to be 180 or 169? This going here is a going depth. Uh, and this is set, we don't have any options here, this is set by the fact that down here, my sizes, I've set a minimum and maximum of the going to both 250, so there's no options. If I was to change that to, let's say, 300, then it would set it based on some other information, the way that we input it, because in order to create this stair, we actually draw it. And that's what makes this a little bit tricky, because we have to understand some of the numbers, but then we also have to draw it. So we're gonna have a look at how that works soon. Now, these are not necessarily set to A standard, and definitely not to Australian standard when you open this up. So when you open this up, you'll find that you're probably gonna have your riser set to a maximum height of two. 200 and we know that that's illegal. 190 is our absolute maximum but just because that is our legal maximum doesn't mean that needs to be our design maximum. For instance I would never want to have a stare at 190 riser in case something went wrong and then it was accidentally built over the top or let's say that for whatever reason the floor to floor changed halfway through a design process. So I'd always be aiming for at least 5 mil tolerance, 185, and if I could reduce that down lower than that, I would. Now, once I change these heights, of course, I could make this 115 if I wanted to. Uh, that's going to give me a lot of different options and a lot of different options here. Generally, we want to try to make this as practical as possible so we won't necessarily use those other options. Now, in terms of what sort of shape stair am I after, if I'm doing a dog-legged, uh, an angled stair or a U-shaped stair, then I have to decide what do I want to do with a landing. Do I want to do a rectangular landing or do I want to start to create a winder where we're dividing that landing in parts or with multiple parts? Now I've drawn on my page a wall just to use as a, a bounding shape and I've just, with some lines, drawn in the template of where I roughly want that staircase to work. And I've done this for my benefit, but also just to show you what I'm trying to achieve. And, and when we're using the stair tool in ARCHICAD, I'm not going to magic wand to this in this case. What I'm trying to do is just use it as a bit of a guide. So with my stair tool, when I start drawing, I need to decide do I want to have my outside, my inside as a reference, or the center line depending on which direction I'm going when I start to click, we see that, okay, that's not working, that's the other way around. So let's flip that, let's use this method, and we can also adjust it this way as well. So we have, this is all the same information that we had before in our info box, some is just available on the screen. Now, what might throw you is as I start to draw, it's not necessarily doing it the way that I want. Of course, I don't want anything past six, seven, eight. I don't want to draw these lines, but I need to not be worried about what ARCHICAD's giving me as feedback at the moment, but be more concerned about the shape of the stair that I'm trying to go. So I'm gonna draw all the way to the end of this elbow. 
And then when I turn the corner, it's going to start to adjust to understand what I want to do. Now the next thing I need to, to know is I can click here, but if I click here it's going to stop the stair. So what I want to do is keep going and you can see that it's working with me. As I move across it keeps adding to what I'm trying to do. And then when we get to the end, it's saying that in order to do this stair I only need 15 rises, but it's giving me multiple options. So I could make 15 here which is that shape that I clicked, or if I kept going, I could keep stretching it. Why is it giving me all those options? Because I gave myself the ability to add a different going height, sorry, different going width. So it's sometimes good if you know the mathematics of what you're trying to do that you take away that option because that can actually make it hard. So in this case, what I'm going to do is go back to my minimum, and that's the reason why I set it up and then click. That will define the shape for me. And now because it's showing nosing, this is correct. We can see that the blue line, the reference line, and the black dot is showing that it's clicked to that point. But because we've got a nosing, the back of the stair is actually behind this line. So all in all, it's correct. Just looks a little bit strange. And having a look at that in 3D, we see that it's created the stair that we, the way that we want it. And the way that I like to create stairs is that it's showing, in this case, the, the board for this last stair, but it's not showing the final stair because we're going to use the slab at the top of this as the stair. And in this case, the same way, it's showing the first stair as solid and then the ground would sit directly underneath that. Now it hasn't automatically done a railing. The way that the, the railing works in ARCHICAD 21 is that the stair and the railing are two separate tools. So we have the stair tool and we have the railing tool and so we would then add the railing to that after. So there's our stair. Let's delete this or we could just move it to the side for a second. And we're going to do it again, but this time we're going to use the other side. And again, if I've got it set up, I've got uh, a template drawn, it makes it very easy to be able to do this. So in the same way, click, follow the lines, drawing with numbers really makes it very easy, click, and I get the same result. So whether you use the outside or the inside, it doesn't matter. Now, of course, it's very important in this case that I'm drawing up. If I wanted to draw down, I could do it the other way around. I would just need to flip this relationship and then I could draw it backwards from the top down. It doesn't make any difference really. This just helps me to understand how I'm working. And of course we can change the graphic representation. But in this video, I just wanted to show you how to make a stair. And my recommendation is the easiest way to understand a stair is by getting the maths right first, which means while it's supposed to be graphic and user friendly, I find the more options you take out of it, the easier it's going to be to work with. And then you can see that it's not going to give me as many options. I can click and it's going to define that for me.